welcome back to my channel. I've recently had a good few new subscribers so thank you very much for joining me. I've been very excited to get this video out. In today's video I've picked out some key autumn transitional pieces that will help you transition between the summer wardrobe and the autumn wardrobe. I've tried to pick things that I believe you will already have in your closet. Now I do have some new pieces here as well and um, so the new pieces will be linked in the description box and then if I can't link something new I will find something similar to link in the description box. I feel like I kind of missed summer this year with coronavirus and my trips abroad being cancelled. So I have been really excited to just put away all my summer clothes and jump back into the autumn winter wardrobe. Now we're not fully gone cozy clothes just yet but I know this period can be quite difficult to style because one minute it's really warm and the next minute it is freezing cold especially in Ireland where I live. So right now it's just about the right time to be bringing um, a little bit more layering into your wardrobe and just switching out the pieces that you'll probably not wear anymore this year. So I'm going to start off with an absolute staple. I'm wearing one this afternoon. This is a jumper dress and I got this one here from Topshop. It, it's actually a navy colour. I hope you can see that on camera. It's not black and it has nice white piping detail here and the neck is quite a high neck as well. I love a high neck in autumn and you will probably see here the polo neck is my absolute favourite neckline for jumpers. So yeah, this is a bodycon style jumper dress. It's nice to get into something like this because your outfit is fully done, like you're literally finished. And at this time of the year, I haven't yet moved on to tights just yet. So I still am able to wear a long dress like this. This one is three quarter length and I feel like I'm not too cold or chilly. Here is another example of another jumper dress. So this is in a different shape. It's actually a beautiful accordion skirt and this is from the brand Karen Millen. I love the stripe detail. It's so elegant and classy. I love stripes on things. and. Um, the red is a beautiful pop of colour as well. Um, I don't like to move into like black for winter. I like to still keep a bit of colour in my wardrobe. But I like to have these kind of pops of colours in my outfit. So this dress is quite heavy. It wouldn't be cold in this at all. And I just love the skirt because it's so comfortable. You can literally eat as much lunch and dinner as you want and you'll still look flawless in this because we all know about that bloat that you get. This type of dress here is great for moving from day to an evening look because it is a casual vibe in the top. The fact that it is short sleeves and looks a bit like a t-shirt vibe, but then it has the beautiful accordion skirt. So it's ideal if you're going, going to be out all day and um, you want something that will transition into the evening time as well. I really like that one. So a beautiful piece there from Karen Millen. And finally for jumper dresses we have my favourite which is the polo neck. Now this one is a little bit shorter. This is one of the new pieces in my wardrobe. It's from French Connection and this is actually a cashmere knitted bodycon dress. This year I really wanted to invest in some more cashmere jumpers because I find they last so long and they look so good. Like my other jumpers don't last me as long because they just look old before they're even old. Like once you wash them they don't have the same shape or the same look and I just don't think it's sustainable to buy jumpers like every single year so I'm leaning towards more staple like cashmere pieces for my wardrobe. So this was one of the recent purchases that I made from French Connection. This is 
one of the softest things I ever felt like I absolutely love just touching it <laughs> but um yeah it's a little bit shorter than some of my other um jumper dresses so it's a bit different and also the olive green color is one of my favorite colors for autumn winter I absolutely love this color so this is a great one for wearing in autumn with boots and then when it gets a little bit colder in winter you can just put a lovely pair of black tights with this and you're layered up ready to go so I can wear this for literally two full seasons so it's a great look so we cannot talk about autumn winter fashion without talking about footwear so I'm putting the runners and heels aside for now and I am picking up these brogues so these are a pair of shiny burgundy brogues that I purchased I know this isn't going to be everyone's style and um, but this is something that I really like personally I mean if it rains you're good to go like your your feet are not going to get wet in these and they're also flat so comfortable for everyday use so those are one of my top favorites for autumn winter and of course ankle boots like these these are also from office and i love the leather on these it's actually so buttery soft and um, if you can see that on camera these are really well worn by me so i bought these last year i believe and i wore them loads with literally everything so i really tend to wear these a lot in winter the ankle boots this lent i have the longer boots as well but i tend not to bring them out until closer to christmas time or really winter time so like knee length and over the knee I'll try and wait for a little bit longer but this kind of length I get great use out of at this time of the year and I'm sure everybody has a type of boot like this in their wardrobe whether it be black or cream or brown you'll have this next up is jeans so I have picked out three pairs um, to show you today obviously the jeans are a staple all year round but we're moving into the darker colors of jeans for the autumn winter so I know everyone is going to have a nice pair of black jeans you cannot go wrong with a nice pair of black jeans these ones I have here are from Topshop I think they are the they're the Jamie jeans which probably a lot of you already have so black jeans very important um dark wash blue denim these are lee jeans um straight leg you know you can't go wrong with them either and then i decided to pull a nice pair of burgundy jeans it's not something that I see all the time but I really like to change it up and as I said add a bit more colour as well so burgundy is a colour that I really like these are from Gap that is the colour a little bit darker than what they're coming up on camera because obviously there's lights here so they're nice I like wearing them as a lot in the autumn winter as well moving on to skirts so we've all put away our mini skirts and stuff like that for summer now so what i have here is a pencil skirt this is from the brand river island and it's actually a nice suede green pencil skirt and um, i think i got this two years ago actually but i'm sure you could find something similar pencil skirts i love for autumn winter because they give you that added warmth that you're missing with a shorter skirt so this is gorgeous option for autumn winter um, I'm seeing loads and loads of like knitted skirts and linen skirts for the autumn winter nowadays in in stores so a midi skirt or a pencil skirt like this is something that you could pick up or you might already have it in your wardrobe that you can style up for the autumn winter and obviously this is gorgeous with boots as well so it's a real day to night piece again which is so handy 
loved i absolutely loved the suede finish of this skirt as well and it reminds me that we are coming into the winter period we're going to see a lot more of the suede and the velvet finishes coming out now in stores so it's nice to have something like this that's a little bit different from other people as well and of course different from leather skirts as well which are very popular in autumn winter and winter i had to run and get a drink of water because my throat is getting really dry from talking so next up is a leopard shirt now we all know that animal print is big for autumn winter it was last year and i'm still seeing a lot of it around this year it's quite a loose fitting shirt so it's nice and comfortable as well but I'm sure everybody has a piece of animal print in their wardrobe. So definitely animal print is definitely still very much on trend. I also love like beautiful silk shirts and shirts with more balloon sleeves are quite popular now as well. I have a nice white one I can put a picture in on screen that I bought in Topshop I believe. Uh, so a nice staple shirt really good one to have in your wardrobe next i've pulled some light knits so these you will notice are very light materials so obviously autumn winter we haven't fully moved into like the chunky knits i'm excited for them but we're not that cold yet so i like pulling these pieces that are a little bit lighter and more breathable you can keep warm but you're not sweating in this either so this one is from Topshop it's a bit of a cropped jumper here and there is lovely gold detailing on the sleeve there in a brown color and I've seen a lot of brown lately in stores and online so brown seems to be a big color this year and also pairing different browns different shades of brown together is one of the key trends that I've noticed as well this year so I think we're going to be seeing a lot more styling with brown pieces this year and of course from me another polo neck so this is a sleeveless polo neck actually from River Island I absolutely love this because it's quite trendy like it's nice and elegant looking with the polo neck and it's also nice for the autumn season because it's not a full-on jumper and um, so it's nice one to have quite stylish and also this piece is perfect for layering because it's not a full-on jumper so I can wear this through autumn and then with other layers underneath this I can wear this in winter as well and of course the black will always be very chic and elegant looking. Not my favourite colour in the world but I like it in this type of jumper. And the final section that we have is outerwear so coats and jackets. So I've pill pilled, I've pulled two pieces that I have here to show you. So the first one is an oversized denim jacket. This one I got in River Island and it's such an easy piece. The oversized fit I would recommend because you can fit this over light dresses like I'm wearing now or in winter the chunky knits and scarves and all that goes like that. You can wear it nice and casually like just over your shoulders like that and it is just like an extra piece to have if it rains or if you need something a little bit chillier in the evening so if you're out all day quite warm but then at night time you need something to just cover up your shoulders and um, the denim jacket is a nice one to have and I'm sure everyone has to have a denim jacket in their wardrobe and finally I have a coat so this is a nice kind of coat we're not fully on the like big heavy winter coats yet so I wanted to pull something that is kind of more wearable so this coat is extra small it's from dkny and it's lovely rainproof coat and um, there's a nice waistband on it as well to give you a little bit more shape and of course a hood on the back 
Um, the navy colour again, I prefer navy than black. It has a little bit of fleecing on the inside there as well, which I like, but not the whole way down. So it's quite a light coat at the same time, just what you need for autumn. I'm just realising here as well that the um, blazer jackets, I didn't remember to pull one for here but they are also quite popular over jeans and just an added layer if you want something a bit more for the evening time so that you don't get chilly so I would say that the blazer jackets are also very popular for autumn winter so I'm sure you all have a blazer jacket as well. So everyone that is all of the staples that I have pulled for autumn winter 2020. Do let me know in the comments what was your favourite look. I'd love to hear from you and definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here. If you like this video do give it a big thumbs up also because it really supports my channel. So as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.